In today's project spotlight, I'm going to be talking about my maple leaf window hanging. What I made, how I made it, and what I learned. Welcome to Eva to Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pajagi, and embroidery. So this maple leaf window hanging is one of my stained glass window hangings and it is made with reversible patchwork. So the seams are finished on both sides and it's only one layer of fabric. So there's no lining, there's no backing. So we can see it looks nice here, but if you see a picture of it in the window, then you can see when the light shines through, then it looks like stained glass. So I made this piece because I wanted to have a collection that represented the four seasons. So I had a flower, a sunshine, and this is to represent fall. Um, I live in a part of the world that gets great fall colors. The leaves all change colors and then um, drop to the ground. And so this is something that's really significant to me. And these leaves can be made in all the different colors of fall. So this is a unique design. I did design the pattern and designing this pattern was a little challenge uh, because I wanted to design this in a way that not only I could make it, but it would be fairly simple to teach other people how to make it. So that puts a little twist on the challenge. And it's hard to tell from looking at it, but this piece is made only with squares and rectangles of fabric. And then some of the squares are cut in the diagonal to make corners, but there's no templates involved in this. Everything is made by sewing pieces together and then trimming it down to size. And so it's not really intuitive the way it goes together. For example, these pieces are made with rectangles and then triangles. So the way it goes together isn't obvious, but it's also not really difficult. Um, I started with just sketches on a piece of paper and then used a lot of trial and error to uh, figure out how to make these pieces. The one problem with the method is that it does leave big pieces of scrap fabric because sometimes you're trimming off a pretty big piece, but that is the um, trade-off that we have for having it being relatively simple to do. So I learned a lot of things when I was making this. The one thing is that it reinforced me the difference in Projagi seams. Now there are a lot of maple leaf quilt blocks, but that type of a block with many triangles, it's difficult to replicate with this type of seam because this type of seam is different. It doesn't follow the same rules. And so this just reinforced me that when I'm designing a piece that looks like something, you have to come at it from a different point of view and think about it in a different way. You can't just make it the same as you would make a regular traditional quilt block. And one of the ways you have to think about it differently is to realize that this is going to require more fabric. There's more fabric in the seams. And when you're making things bigger and then trimming them down, that is going to require that fabric that is trimmed off. So this piece was a great learning experience to help me um, learn and practice in designing with Pajagi seams and seeing how things go together and how it works. And I still love this piece. It's one of my favorite pieces that I have. I've made it in different colors. Um, it's great to do in fall colors. You could do one green. A really popular version is that Canadians like to make it in red to have it for Canada Day. So there are a lot of different options that you can do. If you're interested in making your own maple leaf window hanging, I do have a pattern for this one. So you can click the link below to get more information about that. And if you just want to see pictures and get inspiration for some of my Pajayi projects, you can see that at my website, ebitastudio.com.